Now it's time for Quarantine Tonight. Live from an undisclosed location north of the Platte River, here's your host, Mike Flood. All right, well, welcome very much uh, to everybody. We've got a nice big crowd here at the special Midtown Event Center, 1102 Riverside Boulevard. It's live, it's free, there's cold drinks, and the air conditioning feels wonderful. I don't know if we can get any pictures of this wonderful location here, but uh, we have four cameras, we have plenty of dancers, and we're about to experience the Leo Lani Orchestra, headquartered in Brainerd, Nebraska. We've got a whole crew full of folks from Brainerd, including the former owners of the Starlight Lounge and Ballroom in the uh, Wahoo area. We've got folks assembled here from Lancaster and Pierce and Colfax and Antelope and Knox County and so many other places on what has become kind of a stormy Friday night. We have uh, weather alerts all over the state, but trust us, if you make your way here, you are going to be safe from any inclement weather. We have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brand new facility. In fact, this is the first time this place has been used for a free event like this. There's been some weddings and other events here, but tonight you're gonna see lots of dancers enjoying the sweet sounds of the Leo Lani Orchestra. We've got so much to do and so many people to meet and uh, certainly get the band up here. We want to start with our evening prayer, and I am so lucky tonight to be joined by Father Scott from the Sacred Heart St. Mary's Parish in Norfolk. Father Scott, uh, come on up here. He's here to play the trumpet tonight. That's great of you to be here. We are so happy here. Father, uh, you uh, have agreed to give our prayer tonight. Tell us, how's the summer been going for you? Has it, uh, has it been busy, or have you had a chance to catch your breath? Summer's been well, it's been busy. There's all sorts of youth activities going on, uh, storms going on, all sorts of stuff. One of the things that you need to know about Father Scott is my 15-year-old son attended uh, a camp called Jesus Christ Camp uh, over in Oakdale, Nebraska, and uh, he left town, he went, to, he went to camp, and Father, he picked up a girlfriend. I don't know what happened, but... <laughs> He met his girlfriend at 15 at your youth camp. How does that work? I don't know. We invite him to meet the Lord, and we, we don't know what else is going to happen, but sometimes <laughs> more happens. Yeah. He met Jesus and Ava, and, uh, and tonight he's not working a camera because uh, he's getting picked up by his mother at 815, by the way. But uh, he's really going to love that I just said all that, too, by the way. But I appreciate you being here, and, uh, and I appreciate you. Uh, you were on, last on, I think it was Easter weekend you you shared with us a prayer and we had a lot of people comment on it so thank you for being here tonight would you lead us in prayer sure sure and thank you for uh for having me and for all of us here let's pray together we'll just bow our heads in the father son holy spirit amen heavenly father thank you for this evening for the time we actually get to be together as we uh remember uh, this past year there's so many times that we were not able to be together so we cherish uh, the friendships and the family, the family members that we are able to be close to and events that we are able to have like this. We ask that you bless this event, uh, the musicians that are here, uh, keep those who will be uh, dancing safe, and um, just bless all of us here. We ask this, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Father Scott. Now, are you a polka fan yourself? Uh, not so much, but I'm, I'm looking to get into it a little bit more. <laughs> Tonight's your night. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are looking forward to a great weekend. And by the way, have you seen all the storms that are pending out there? We have a lot of storms that have kind of caused havoc over the last couple of days. Tonight could be another night of stormy weather. Uh, did you notice that driving in? I did. I'm a big fan of storms, um, except for that one a couple nights ago. That wasn't that, wasn't that enjoyable in the middle of the night having to get up. Uh, that, that tornado warning here in Norfolk, but uh, besides that, storms are, yeah, as long as they don't harm anything. <laughs> I, slept, I slept right through the tornado siren. I don't know what happened. Must have had too many uh, ginger ales at uh, quarantine tonight because uh, I, I woke up at 6 o'clock and everybody said, did you hear the siren last night? I was like, uh-uh, but you heard it. I did. I did. It was pretty wild, pretty windy, so, yeah. Thank you very much, Father Scott from uh, Sacred Heart St. Mary's in Norfolk, working hard. Let's invite our band up here. We've got the Leo Lani Orchestra. They are uh, joining us here. We've got a bunch of folks that have become friends over the last year and a half. Lani, of course, this is, uh, this is a, a 
Hall of Famer that has done a lot in music and has contributed greatly to uh, the Czech culture and the, uh, the polka culture, but just the, the music environment of the great state of Nebraska. Lonnie's got his own microphone there. You better pick that up. Marla over here. Do you sell any houses today? Yeah, I saw one two days ago. There's not many houses left to sell, are there? Well, not very many come on the market. We need more on the market. <laughs> Lonnie, how you been? Good to see you again. Been really, been really well. well. Good, to be, Good back. to be back. You were uh, you were one of the first bands on Quarantine tonight, yep. and it only makes sense that you are the first band here for a group of people. Many of them you probably know. I know a bunch of them. I even brought that one table full. I brought them, charged them fifty bucks a person to get on the, my band van, and by golly, and I don't I don't know if everybody knows this or not. Mike was telling me that the doors are going to get locked. It was free to get in, but it cost ten bucks to get out. So. <laughs> Well, you're overvaluing my show. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's not talk anymore. Let's just have fun and come out and dance here. It's the Leo Lani Orchestra on News Channel, Nebraska. <laughs> Hey, it's hey. You know what, Paul? That that's the first time we heard applause for one of our news channels. I like it. I like it. We uh, uh, Mike forgot to tell you once again. Dancing is allowed, and the Grangers were dancing by, and like we always do, we award a thousand dollars to the first couple out on the dance floor, and they are lucky enough to win a thousand dollars. Up to right now, we've go. Uh, let's see, we've rewarded over three hundred thousand dollars, and so far nobody cashed their checks. I don't know why. So. Checks in the mail. Checks in the mail. Let's keep with the polka time right now. Here's a little Slavish girl polka. Thank you. 
sich mit mir. Moi, Mila, Zitski, si bevala. Moi, Mila, te dušnici. Moi, Mila, proto je miluješ dvije srdečka. some good dancers out there. We do. You know, we're, as we do on the TV show, we always kind of mix it up and, and we're not going to do it in sets. So you're going to kind of get your money's worth today. So we're going to go to waltz time right now. Marla, would you like to send this one out to anybody? Yes, it should. We want to send one out especially to Joanne and Valerian Svoboda. We brought them along all the way from David City. Give them a big round of applause. They're famous. They're famous. One of their favorite tunes, a little letter after summer.
all a little, little after summers. Everybody enjoying themselves here in the big town of Norfolk. We got some of the finest musicians we could find in the last five minutes. And uh, they're doing a wonderful job. We got my daughter Susie back there on the piano. Give her a big round of applause right there. High school graduate. And if Chad is out there or wherever, could you turn the piano up just a little bit for us on the stage and out there for everybody? I don't think they can hear enough Susie. Susie, say something. That's about all she says. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some uh, special couples right there, Paul. If you see, we have the Pavels and the Vuprovskis, all the way Waverly, Nebraska, and Dorchester, Nebraska. How about that? I tell you, glad to have you along. And Gary said, you got to play this song if we're going to come from Dorchester. Here is the Hayrack Polka. Thank you. Na czekoločeni, žádna pomoc není. Každá pana stejná, halby jak nemlená. Is everybody having a good time in Norfolk, Nebraska? Let's hear ya. We thank you so much. Paul, we got a special couple from Verde Green, Nebraska, that just a few weeks ago. I, did you I see saw them? them? Did you I see that you saw them? There's both, both of, of them. Both of, both them, of them, them are here. Yeah, both of them are here. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dwayne Fanta from Verde Green, Nebraska, just celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary, or 26th wedding anniversary. That's right, 25 plus one. Give them a big round of applause. Congratulations, you guys. The I'll be no and you know how we know that? We played their anniversary dance, that's right. And we actually, and also, none of the rest of you did, but I did, I played their wedding dance. How about that? So here's a little polka time called the Red Apple Hulerai.
Oh, good old peppy tune of the Red Apple Hulerai. We thank you so much, everybody. We'd like to send this one out. We sent one out a little bit earlier, but this is one of their favorite songs, especially to Frank and Joanne Pavel, a pretty waltz called the Long Ago Waltz. Ush, yet the Davno. gentlemen that's here for the Leo Lani Orchestra. I had to I had to work to get up on that. Good to see everybody here tonight. We've got a great crowd of people. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. Now this is something we haven't had to deal with before. We have to take a commercial break and check the weather, but I think if we time it properly, you could do a song during the break and that way they could still dance okay. while we check the weather. How about that? I do want to say I see Gary Brodicky over there. I know this couple. He's a former member of the Howl's Hot Shots. Am I right on that, the Howl's Hot Shots? Oh, you got to come up here for a second. It's, I went to school with their daughter. Come on up here, Brodickys. I probably am not saying it right. People in Howl's are probably, how do you say it in Howl's? It's Brodicky in Howl's. Yeah. When I went to school, it was Brodicky because it made more sense. But tell me, how's it going? How's everything? Where, what, ha what became of the Howl's Hot Shots? Well, I'm afraid uh, uh, they've kind of uh, aged out. And so the, the uh, band is no longer in existence, but I have a lot of the music and I know where the, where the music is. So, uh, but uh, it's, uh, there's not so many musicians around that can uh, uh, be available in the small towns anymore. So uh, now you're from Howl's. Now, where are you from? Howl's. Okay, did you two meet in high school? Yes. Sure. <laughs> he says yes, she's like, oh, what in high school? I knew him before that. <laughs> and how's your daughter? Very good, Carrie uh, is uh, in Omaha, and, uh, and uh, so she, uh, we keep up uh, the information about what's happening here, and so she uh, remembers the, uh, the pool parties that you guys uh, oh, yeah. uh, did back, way back when, and the house hot shots. Uh, yeah, as well, you guys talked about that. So, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, we loved it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's nice to see a lot of friends. We're setting up more tables. We're going to have more music. It's right now time to check news and some of that stormy weather across Nebraska. Storm warnings extending from places like Boone County on into uh, Colfax County. We'll have more coming up. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. All right, we're back here at News Channel Nebraska's Quarantine tonight. We've got a nice looking crowd. They're setting up more tables and chairs. We're actually at our first disclosed location. We're actually at the Midtown Event Center, which is uh, on Riverside Boulevard in Norfolk, Nebraska, just a few doors down from the old King's Ballroom. And we've got a nice crowd assembled. Lonnie is here, Lonnie Pitts. Uh, he's got his microphone there. And would you do some introductions of the band here? This is the band. Oh, thank you. Is that good enough? Okay. Um, on lead trumpet uh, from Papillion, Nebraska, who said, I heard her tell her husband just a little bit ago, um, it's hailing at home. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Uh, Marley Enoch from Papillion, Nebraska. Hey! Give her a big round of applause. You betcha. And nobody's listening that it's the lead trumpet player. But watch them listen to this next guy are from uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa, Mr. William White on trombone. Hello, William. And everybody knows this guy from Gretna, Nebraska, Mr. Paul Menoshek. Paul Menoshek. That's Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul. We're not even on the air. Yeah. But on the screen, we're not. But I think it's, it's, it's being deceiving. Or back there. On piano is a beautiful gal who just graduated high school, Miss uh, Susie Pitts, back there. And helping us out today on the tuba from Schuyler, Nebraska, Mr. Steve Sobota. Doing do a wonderful you, job. Now, how do you spell that last name? S-O-B-O-T-A. I could have <laughs> never done that. <laughs> and then our drummer of every evening, uh, the lovely, the beautiful, the effervescent Richard Yenock, all the way from Papillion, who happens to be married to the lead trumpet player, unfortunately. We feel for you yeah, over there. Yeah, the whole band does. Marla has been a part of this show since the start. How many times have you been on it? This should be about 11 or 12. I think already, yeah. You stopped charging probably after the second time. At least. We were on the very first show when you hung up the first Quarantine Tonight sign. That's right. Yeah, well, it's great to have everybody. And this high school graduate over here, I talked to her earlier. She's heading to, where are you going to college at? Um, I'm going to the University of Nebraska, Omaha. Hey. And yes, she is going for a music degree, but she's also going for an accounting degree. Yes. Usually you don't find accountants and musicians in the same person. That's not something that usually happens. They're not going to know what to do with you in the music college over there. I guess they won't. You're going to have to hold them all accountable. How about that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Leo Lani Orchestra on News Channel Nebraska. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, everybody. And we're going to continue with polka time right now, a good old tune. And we, oh, Paul just dropped his microphone. I just had an anniversary request sent to me, and we want to make sure we take care of that. We want to send happy anniversary uh, on June, uh, it was June 24th. Mr. and Mrs. John Schmidt from David City, Nebraska, celebrated their 62nd wedding anniversary. Congratulations to you guys. Here's a little tune called The Child Like a Rose Polka. Child Like a Rose, Waltz. We're going to go to Waltz time, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, just so we would make sure we didn't play this tune, or we would play this tune, that I didn't ask him if we could play this tune, we're going to feature our tuba player from Schuyler, Nebraska. Once again, give him a big round of applause, Mr. Steve Sobota. Right there he is. Oh, my goodness. Look at the happiness in his face right now. We're going to feature him on a great tune that he's going to just amaze you and you won't believe what's going to come out of that horn. Here is the Elephant Waltz. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Round of applause for Mr. Steve Sobata back there doing a wonderful job. Drinks on Lonnie. Hey, how about we do a little insert right now? We're going to do a little button accordion tune, Paul. All right. That way Steve can get some rest. Oh, wait, he has to play on it too. Paul is going to talk to you for two seconds. Hey, thanks for coming out, everybody. It's really fun to play for a live crowd instead of just Mike and our TV audience. So here's Lonnie to impress you with his pretty blue button accordion. Yeah, and a different one. He's gonna do for you the Dutch Festival Waltz. Yes, just like that. How about that guy? What talent. If you, if you didn't notice, he used all the buttons on that one, too. Yes, he did. Keep going, Paul. What do we got now, Lonnie? That one. Oh, yeah, here's one. We're going to sing for you for all the dollies out there. Here's the doll polka. Thank 
Nimrod Panenko z naší vesnice. Zpívá je si hodní všechny mladenci. Až pojdem z kostela spolu do světa, budem se na vtičky milovat a na mladí si vzpomínat. Just like that, a little doll polka for everybody. Oh, here's another nice one. This is an old Ernie Kuchera tune, and if you don't know or not, we're playing a lot of Ernie's music, because that's what we got up here. And uh, William's gonna do a little bit of everything on this tune, on the one horn, amazingly like that. Here's a little tune called the Old Clara Polka.
gentlemen, this is quarantine tonight, and uh, isn't the Leo Lani Orchestra just a breath of fresh air in a world full of problems? Thank you so much. Marla, you got a big smile on your face over here. I'm retired from teaching for two years. She was a music teacher, for a band director, for how many years? You were at Springview? Springfield Platteview Schools for 20 years. Then I was in Austin, Iowa. I started first in Iowa. Then you got your head screwed on straight and said, I need to be in Nebraska. <laughs> no. Well, I got, well, no, I got a good job in Nebraska, but that was after my son was born. Now, Marla's a South Omaha native. Her husband, or her dad. Uh, Riches. Riches. I married a Bohemian from South Omaha. I'm German. Dean Hansen was my dad. Oh, and so then you met this guy from South Omaha. German and a, German and a Czech. How's that worked out? So far, about 32 years, it's worked out okay. 32 hey, years she's been married. That? But notice how far they sit apart from each other on the stage. That's why it's worked out so well. <laughs> All right, so we are uh, so happy to be here. Uh, we want to give a big shout out to the Midtown Event Center. Uh, this is a brand new facility. Uh, this was a, a Maytag shop, and it was transformed by a guy by the name of Scott Stevens into this beautiful place here. And uh, you might not know it, but these garage doors open, and it turns into even more seating for a wonderful wedding venue. And uh, when Scott found out we were interested in taking this on the road, and you're seeing all these pictures here, he said, I'll tell you what, if you'd host one of your events here, we'd be happy to do it. And uh, we were able to do it for free because they wanted to show this place off, and uh, we just want to thank them. And if you are thinking of hosting an event, uh, you can see how beautiful it is here. And if you are from out of town, I've talked to so many people, Dorchester, Nebraska, Lincoln, Saunders County, Brainerd, uh, Waverly. We want you to know you're always welcome in Norfolk. In fact, you may not leave. Marla could sell you a house in Norfolk by Monday. Of course, I got a Nebraska license. It works. It's a little drive for me, though, to put a for sale sign up. Oh, if you're buying a house, she'll be selling it to you. It's no problems. A for sale sign up for me though, right? I would. I would definitely put a for sale sign up. I don't know where we'd go. There's no houses to move to, but hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break and then we're going to be back with more here on Quarantine Tonight. All right, we're back here on News Channel Nebraska. We're live, and uh, we're at the Midtown Event Center in Norfolk, Nebraska, 1102 Riverside Boulevard. Free admission. Come on in. you got to pay for your own drinks. You might be on TV if you're dancing. Uh, we want to thank the Leo Lani Orchestra for being here. And one of the questions I have is, this is the first time we've had a live audience. And uh, usually it's us in, the, in a private, undisclosed location with cameras right about there that are watching you, and I was just talking to Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul. And uh, I was asking him, what's different about this compared to that? No one's, your every move isn't on camera, so. <laughs> Plus, it's, it's fun to play for, for the dancers. We're more relaxed. We, we see them having a good time. It, it just kind of escalates, so. It makes it a better experience it for the does. band. It's much more fun for us, so. I'll tell you this about Lonnie, though. The first, oh, look at that. I bought you all a water, and then now you're getting hey, some flavored water. One extra great thing about playing for an audience, that happens. Yes. Yeah, that's like, Show their appreciation. They remembered it was National Buy the Band or Drink Week. <laughs> and you got a fan right here. So. There you go. Well, I tell you what, you got a lot of people here. You got people that have followed you from all over the eastern side of the state. Let's enjoy this. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Quarantine Tonight on News Channel Nebraska. We want to send this one out especially to the Benchufs here who celebrated their 61st wedding anniversary. And uh, we also want to thank uh, Mr. Blazek for uh, doing what he did for us. We thank you so much. It's uh, Landler time, and we got uh, my daughter Susie up here is going to play uh, clarinet with uh, Paul and yours truly. Here's a little tune called Herbie's Landler.
Hey, that was a Herbie's Lander. We're going to do the musician shuffle up here. We're all going to move things around a little bit. Susie's going to take over the, the lead spot, like she eventually is going to do one of these days. Yeah, oh, Lonnie thinks it's important that we have girl boy, girl boy. So <laughs> we're politically correct up here, too. So we're going to do which one? The veterans? Is that what's coming up? That's what the boss says. So here's a good old Al Grebnik arrangement of the veterans polka. Veterans Polka. Is everybody having a good time here in Norfolk, Nebraska? We hope so. We got another nice tune here, and uh, oh, on that last tune, how about a nice round of applause? We had a great tuba solo by Mr. Yeah. Steve Sobata. A couple of them, actually. That's the way Joe Chata would have played it. Here's a little tune, uh, one more. We're to a couple tunes of the little bit of the El Grebnik style. Here is That's Why You Cried Polka. Thank you. 
plakala, že si Milačko vypusu nedala. Proto, proto ty si plakala, že si mu sladko pusu nedala. That's a good old Al Grabnik. Everybody loves the Al Grabnik man. We get a lot of requests online for that, don't we, Lonnie? Yes, yes, we do. So just for all those people still listening in, you know, we still have all those online TV listeners. So we appreciate them tuning in. What have we got, Lonnie? Oh, we have to send one to one of our favorite young ladies up in South Dakota. We just, we're going to play for her birthday. That's right. We don't want to tell you how old she's going to be, but she asked for this song. Here's I'll Be Seeing You. We'll be seeing them up in, Oc in October, too, That's right. for Polly. Polly's birthday. Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. The band leader's got to get his music. There we go. be seeing you in all your bows. That's right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great trumpet and trombone combination up here on the stage. Uh, Marla and William, uh, they've uh, played a lot of jobs together now, and they each know each other's quirks, oh. even when it comes to playing, because we're going to feature them right now on a tune that William, uh, he, I think he killed a June bug on this tune a couple <laughs> couple years ago. <laughs> yes, you did. Here is the old witch polka, Rakashanka.
give him a big round of applause. You'll never find him anybody finer, you betcha. We're in the presence of greatness, there Paul. There we go. Yes, we are. We're going to go to waltz time right now, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this tune wow. is uh, a very pretty tune. And Paul, we'd like to send this one out, especially uh, there at home, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gerald Bodie. Oh. You betcha, all the way from Hooper Euling Way. What are they doing at home? Well, I tell you that they just needed a night to, for a little bit of romancing, and they needed some good music, and they thought they'd turn the TV on and listen to the Leolani Orchestra, and, and he said he was gonna get a flower for mother, and so that's what we're gonna do now. And Paul, it never, it's, I tell you, it's one of them things, it's always a good day to spend some time with your mother. So here we go, a little flower for mother waltz. Tune a little flower for Mother Waltz. And you know what? Uh, boys and girls in your extra pile, let's do that LL368 that's looking at you right now. We got some good waltzers. Let's do another waltz, okay? Nice little tune that uh, Polly liked this one too. And so did Paul because he put it over there. Can you find it, Paul? Eventually. Eventually, that's right. Paul, do you know of anybody with this title? Uh, I don't even know what the title is. Okay. Well, when you... This is, yeah, this is called the Paul's Waltz, the Paul's Waltz. I like the way Steve thinks. Here we go. Are you ready, Paul? Well, you know, some... Yeah, that's all right. There you go. No, not that one. It's this one. It's okay. We're not on live TV right now. It should be in numerical order even. There you go. Here we go. Here's the Paul's Waltz, also known as the Stoneheart Waltz. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's a sad waltz. The Stoneheart Waltz. Is everybody having a good time in Norfolk, Nebraska? Let's hear you. We hope so. We're going to do another. We, we can sneak it in, I think. We'll try to. Just for Pavel. Just for Pavel. Let it be known we don't do anything special once in a while. Here's one more for you, a little tune. We're going to go to polka time. Here is the single girl polka. I'll send this one out to my daughter Susie, the single girl polka. Give her a big round of applause back there. That's right. Yep, right after this, we're going to ship her off to the convent. So that'll make it work really good. All right. Orchestra here on News Channel Nebraska. 
on behalf of a very grateful audience, not just the one here, but there's a lot of folks watching tonight that want to say thank you to this band. Uh, this band has been here from the very start, and I've had so many of you say, this is one of the reasons you really enjoy this program called Quarantine Tonight. This, my friends, on, uh, for TV programming is what American TV should be about. Uh, there's nothing bad that's happened here tonight, and only a lot of good with a lot of memories and a lot of friends. Uh, Lonnie, you've been doing this how many years? How, how old were you when you started in the music business? In the music business, uh, my first musical dance job I played, I was in the sixth grade. And in what year was that? I graduated in 1994. Oh! So a little backwards. And, uh... So you and I are the same age, essentially. I'm going to be 46 this year. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to be 47 oh, in so February. Oh, you're one up on me. But uh, I got started, my first job was with Ernie Kutcher in Ord, Nebraska, playing lead sax and clarinet, and my uncle Leonard was playing uh, tenor and clarinet, and then we started the band with my dad in 1991. So. Well, I tell you what. I was 11 years old. Is that how old I was? And Dr. Oh, okay. Paul knows, because he Dr. was there. Paul, he's got the pH of everything, so. <laughs> Oh, we're so glad you've got folks here. Show the crowd for a second. We've got some... Uh, There's a we, lot of people. We've got a lot of people here. And they have driven from a long ways away. And just we don't want to say thank you to everybody that took the time to come here. Uh, one of the other things we don't talk about enough is that uh, so many of our viewers have become members. And we don't ask for money uh, but one time a year. And I tell you what, we just are so thankful to the people that watch this show, whether you can contribute or not, it means a lot to us. And this is the first time we've had anybody here. Usually we just get mail, uh, which is great. And I wanna throw that address up uh, on the screen if it's available, uh, because your letters do mean a lot to us. And tonight I had the chance to talk to a lot of people about uh, some of the bands you like, the things that you enjoy. If you take the time to send us a note, we'll send you our schedule and uh, I heard tonight that they want to hear the Shucks Brothers, which is a great band out of Lincoln. Uh, they like, obviously, the Leo Lani Orchestra. There's so many other bands that they like. Send us a letter to 214 North 7th Street in Norfolk, 68701. I read each and every one of those. And I'll tell you what, the first time the Leo Lani Orchestra was on, I didn't even put the address up, and I got a lot of letters. <laughs> and I don't know how that happened, but we got a lot of feedback from people across Nebraska. And so tonight we have people from across Nebraska that have chosen to join us. And we love having you here. We're going to do more with the Leo Lenny Orchestra in just a moment. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. We are so happy you're here. Uh, my name is Mike Flood. I'm your host. And we have the Leo Lani Orchestra here. Uh, you know, Susie Pitts over here uh, was just invited to join the convent by her own <laughs> father. And by her own father invited her to join the convent. Susie's off to college next year. She, did a, she had a wonderful career at uh, Brainerd. No, no, let's see, Butler East? East Butler, East Butler High School. And uh, she's going to UNO to be an accountant and a music major. And uh, you're still going to play with the band, right? Absolutely. And what happens when you meet all those college co-eds? I mean, there's going to be some guy at UNO. You're going to have to find a polka player or something. You have to find somebody that likes the accordion, or they're not going to be able to be part of the family here. Um, I don't have a relationship with the grand piano at college, so there's no time for that. <laughs> oh, you are just putting a show on for your dad, aren't you? You are putting a show on. I have 20 minutes that I have to memorize for piano pieces for two different concerts throughout the fall semester, and I also have an additional 20 for the spring semester. There'll still be time for boys. There'll still be time for boys. You know what's funny about uh, Susie is when we, she first came on this show, we had a beautiful grand piano from Lutheran High Northeast High School, and you should have seen her eyes when she saw this beautiful piano. And uh, now she's back on the keyboard, but if we someday could get that grand piano back, uh, we, could, we could take it up a notch on a lot of levels. Ladies and gentlemen, the Leo Lottie Orchestra right here on News Channel Nebraska.
to a dance one night. It was like a dream. There I met a girl so sweet and charming like a queen. She was blonde and had blue eyes, and I could plainly see. When I asked her for a dance, she smiled and danced with me. Oh, I love to polka when I'm dancing with my sweetheart. I will always love her, and I know we'll never part. We'll still be dancing as the years come and go. Dancing the Red Raven Polka with the sweetheart that I love so. to Polka. We thank you so much, everybody. Now what are we doing? Oh. Hey, Chad. We're getting some reverb through this thing somehow. I don't know what... Okay. And uh, here's another tune. We, we dug it out of the book, Paul, just to make him happy. Oh. And you had Steve go into his book and oh. get this tune, oh, okay. so we better play it uh, now. By request. By request for the Pavels, the Pelon Polka. We'd like to send this one also to uh, Richard and Donna Madsen. Good to see them here. And uh, who else is here, Paul? Anybody you know? Oh, yeah. And uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kenny Delagel from Lincoln, Nebraska. Here's the Pelon Polka. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh yeah, a little tune we call the Delon Polka. All right, where are we at here? Let's see, should we do this one, Paul? It's one more polka. We don't want to poke them out, but we, it's in our list here. Okay. Here's a little tune called uh, No Beer in Heaven today. And uh, we had a request. What was the request from your daughter, Steve? Or no, sister. Dr. Christy Sobota, she wanted to hear, uh, in heaven there is no beer. We're close. It's a beer tune. Here we go. <laughs> Especially for doctors out there. Oh, yeah. Lots of doctors. Lots of doctors, even one on the stage. Right, Paul? That's right. All right. Well, let's keep the show going here. Everybody got a waltz up right now? I think we do. Here's a pretty waltz, and uh, we'd like to send one out especially to Ron and Darlene Kleeman. Right there they are. I give them a big round of applause. Hey. Valparaiso away. I'd like to send one out especially, and, and uh, cam one camera might have to turn around because this one table is going to stick their hands up. Who rode along with me on the way up here? Can, you, can somebody get a camera over there? Keep your hands up. They're going to get a camera on you. Right there. Raise your hands. There you go. I brought a big crew along with me. And, uh, it's, uh, and Paul and the, band, the rest of the guys are very surprised that the first thing they seen when the door opened was Valerian Swoboda, I tell you. <laughs> Valerian was right there, and that was all that ended that. He fell out. And he fell out, that's right. Here is Till We Meet Again, Walt.
Get na potka me prati, pozdrav si da me posluve tiki. Za šepta, snad si za vzpomina me, ak si ruce poda me dal, pojdem se s tou. Každý sam manje se pta, Proč hlasa nepačina, uví, kde je to psáno, žena, milo dopšáno, tak málo štěstí. It's a Leo Lani Orchestra. I tell you what, if uh, if our live audience can stick around for a few minutes, we got to do the 10 o'clock news at 10:02. We're the only TV station <laughs> in Nebraska that misses the 10 o'clock news by two minutes. But we're going to take a quick break on the news, take a look at that weather, and we're going to be right back with a special encore edition from the Leo Lani Orchestra on News Channel Nebraska. Now it's time for Quarantine Tonight. Live from an undisclosed location north of the Platte River, here's your host, Mike Flood. Welcome back to Quarantine Tonight. This is a special encore edition. Can you believe it? We've got so many people uh, that have decided to stay with us here. And uh, somebody told me tonight, it's not a business if you love what you do. And uh, I think I speak for the band, myself, and so many people on the News Channel Nebraska team. This is about seeing the smiles on all the people that are here. And if you're at home right now and you're watching this and maybe you, uh, you say, gosh, I wish I was there, or the storms, or maybe it's just not the right time to be traveling, or even, I don't know if I should be out, you know, of my health, uh, we'd say to this to you, you're part of this. You're part of this station. And... Uh, we know you're watching and it means a world to us and so that we hope you are um, tucked away in a safe place tonight on a Friday night as we celebrate live from the Midtown Event Center 
in Norfolk, Nebraska, 1102 Riverside Boulevard, they basically made this available to us so that we could celebrate with people that have been watching us through the entire quarantine. And uh, Lonnie Pitts, I'd say to you, this is probably one of the nicest places to have an event. You've got great light, you've got great bartenders, and you've got all these uh, tables out here. I'd say it's a pretty good deal. Oh, yeah, what a beautiful place to play. Great sounds, great acoustics, and all the people here... Um I just, it was amazing to see some more tables rolled out while we were going. So oh, they were rolling tables were rolling out, out left and right when the That's crowd right. got in here. So, And it makes it so much fun having a live audience. So. You should see that. I didn't know how happy the band was, oh, or maybe yeah. I didn't know how miserable the band was before. <laughs> maybe that's what it was. It's called Marla's always seemed pretty happy to me, but... Well, uh, hey. You don't know her well enough yet. <laughs> We just welcome all of you here to News Channel Nebraska tonight. Are you ready for some more Leo Lonnie Orchestra? Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching News Channel Nebraska. Hey, we had a lot of requests, and uh, we, we didn't even pull any out because we were going to stay with polkas, and we thought, uh, well, well, we're going to sneak a couple in here, and uh, we're going to do a couple big band tunes for those that want to get a little two-stepping in. Here's You Call Everybody Darling. Darling, too. You don't mean what you're saying. It's just a game you're playing. But you'll find someone else can play the game as well as you. If you call everybody darling, then love won't come a knocking at your door. And as the years go by, you'll sit and wonder why nobody calls you darling anymore. Everybody call you call everybody darling. Paul, look at these great dancers out here. We want to invite you all uh, this Sunday, uh, the Leolani Orchestra, the ballroom band. This is the polka band. The ballroom band's a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be at the Eagles Club in Wahoo, Nebraska from 2 to 5. And we hope some of you, I know there's a lot of Norfolk people that come down this way. And uh, we hope you can join us there from 2 to 5 at the Eagles there in Wahoo, Nebraska. It's a Leolani sponsor dance. We put them on about once a month. And we have a lot of fun bringing some big band music to everybody. Here's one more for you. Oh, Paul, don't be angry. Because we only got two of them full. Though, Here right? we go. One Don't be angry, 
Cause I was only teasing you I wouldn't even let you think I'm leaving Oh, honey, don't you know I love you true Now just because I took a look at somebody else That's no reason you should put for me on the shelf Dearie, please don't be angry Cause I was only teasing you enjoyed our little couple big band tunes we thank you so much everybody now we got to change our music around here Paul don't forget where are we at we're on this one uh, we want to send one out um, uh, what? oh hey this huh yeah, yeah, yeah. this will work out perfect um, my uh, Uncle Kenny uh, brought me up a nice little card request and said, could you please play a nice tune for their newest grandchild born yesterday to Lydia Hope Bardick. How about a nice round of applause for them? Congratulations. Boy, I couldn't have timed that out any better. So since you're a baby, Paul, you're not very old, are you, no, then, no, if you're no, a baby? No, no. All right. Okay. Well, then th this polka is going to be just right. Here's the one called the Our Youth Polka. Kamaradi, pomalu starnem, a nad svim mladim, jen rukom obnem. Gde so ti klile, kriš sem tje mjel tore kraj, Proceš mi moje mladi s Bohem dan. Gde so ti hvile, kdi sem tjem jel tole kraj, 
Chodceš mi moje mladí s Bohem dát. We're going to switch gears now, and we're going to thrill you once again to the nimble digits of one talented fine musician going to get out his bohemian typewriter, and I'm supposed to keep talking while he does all this messing around. Oh, he's going to get the red one out. He's going to give you both, the, bl the blue and the red, so very patriotic. What do we got coming up, Lottie? Uh, uh, the Here's the <laughs> Ellen polka. How about that guy? He does it all, doesn't he? I try. Talking fast, too. Talking fast. There he go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I want to send one out. I think they're still up yet. And we can, Paul. That'll work. Uh, to uh, my family at home, to my beautiful daughters. Uh, they were going to come up today, and uh, they couldn't come because today was final swim test day. Uh, they were taking swimming lessons. And they all advance, so I'm all happy for all them. Right. So uh, this drowned? is for nobody drowned. Good, no. That's good. That's good. 
And uh, so for Sylvia, Ellie, and Lanely, and my beautiful wife Kim at home. So uh, for them, and uh, and uh, what else do we got here? You're doing this one, okay? Uh, yeah. And also, uh, hey, I I want to send the one out. Uh, yeah, I want to send one out especially to uh, the. Uh, the great bunch that come along with me, Paul, and I don't want to forget anybody. I want someone out especially to Mr. and Mrs. John Kushik, John Hladik, uh, Alice Matuka, Monica Taverdi, and Jim and Darlene Blazek, and Val and Joanne Svoboda. They, they, well, we wanted her to come, not him, but, and also uh, Ron and Darlene Kleeman. Give them a big round of applause. Uh, I, I had the idea to bring them along, and I'm glad that they come along with us. We're Are you do, buying uh, them all ice cream on the way home, Lonnie? Yes, I yeah, am. They all yeah. behave you guys so know well. that? You all get ice cream. Bit of ice cream. That's right. So it's waltz time right now, and we're going to feature uh, uh, Marla and William on this tune, and uh, we're getting ahead of them already. Here is the last kiss waltz. Click, click, boom. It's a sad tune. It was the last kiss. Oh, yeah. All right, boys and girls. One more. Um, let's see. Where did Mike go? We want to send one out especially um, to the Grangers that they drove up here. And right there they are. Paul, right there. Aren't they a nice-looking couple? They were our first dancers of the yeah, evening. Right. How about we do the Bozhink? Uh, is that what we got next? Bozinka. We're going to feature once again that fine tuba stylings of Mr. Steve Sobota back there. He's, he's smiling, Paul, because he's never played this much bass solos in his life. Here is the Bozhenka Polka. And we want to send one out. Paul, yes. look at this text that I got. Uh -oh. Can you believe that? Look at that. Who sent us a nice little note? Caleb. Yeah, we want to send one out especially to Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Rezach out there. <laughs> he sent me a note here that says, you guys sound so good, we can't wait for you to play for our wedding in November. So, uh, oh, not quite Mr. and Mrs. Okay, all right. Well, it's Mr. right now. Here is the Bozhenka. Thank you. 
How about a big round of applause, Mr. Steve Sobota back there doing a wonderful job on that uh, sousaphone wind approximator. All right, Mike said, uh, Mike, Mike, how much more do you want? How much, you tell us. He's gonna look at his magical device. One more song? Well, we gotta do Anthem. Um, let's see here. Let's go in our uh, extra list here. Paul, how about that first one? You want to do that first one, Paul? That's funny. I write the checks, and I don't get to do what I get to do. You asked me if I wanted. I know. Let's do this one. 513, the very end there in the pile. We'll do 513 to keep Paul happy. This is going to be the last tune of the evening, so we need everybody out there dancing. And uh, Paul, you got it there? Are you happy now? Okay, that's all right. I know, I know, I know, but still, I got to listen to you. So, uh, we're, this is the last tune. We hope everybody can join us. Here is the Skaters Polka. gentlemen oh it's theme song time and that means it's time to say goodbye we want to thank you so much for coming out today and all those that tuned in there at home thanks for joining us for a wonderful quarantine tonight we want to thank mr mike flood and news channel nebraska for having us till next time we hope to be back soon may god bless each and every one of you till next time we love you bye-bye
Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the Leo Lani Orchestra. And I gotta, I gotta interview these two folks here. here. Turn around here for a second. These are the youngest people here, and they're from Grand Island, Nebraska. What's your name? My name's Alex. Alex, and what's your last name? Gomez. And your name? Um, Mackenzie Vogt. And uh, here's the story on these two. Uh, her grandpa taught her how to polka, and he's here tonight. And uh, how old were you when you learned how to polka? Um, maybe like 16. <laughs> 16 years old, and then you taught him how to polka, right? Yeah. I'd say they do a pretty good job. You should have seen them on the dance floor tonight. And I can tell you this, I know there's a lot of people low watching tonight that saw you two out there, and they thought, that's a good sign for America that two young people came out to this tonight with your grandpa from Grand Island, and uh, we just want to say thank you for being here, and there's a lot of people here that really enjoyed you. Thank you for having us. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so they're getting married next week. I'm just telling you that right now. I'm giving you a hard time. I'm giving you a hard time. And uh, to this uh, orchestra here, who has been a huge part of News Channel Nebraska's quarantine tonight, I know all these folks here, and uh, they worked their tails off to do a good job. And uh, the smiles on their faces, Lonnie, you've got that microphone there. The smiles on your faces tonight, how many times? I've had you on maybe, I don't know, seven or eight times. and 7 or 8,000 times, yes. And I haven't seen such big smiles yet. So. Yeah, I know. It's, it's just, it's great. You get the crowd to feed off of, and nice to hear the live applause, and uh, everybody's smiling up here. So. Well, I tell you what, there's a lot of people here that came from a long ways away, and uh, I want you to know two things. One, Norfolk always welcomes you, and number two, News Channel Nebraska really appreciates you watching, and we hope you had fun tonight. So on behalf of everybody uh, here and all of you, Marla, even you, uh, <laughs> Send us a letter. We appreciate it. You're watching News Channel Nebraska. He catches on real quick. Good night.